Hello and welcome to our channel. Today we'll be exploring one of the most tragic maritime disasters in history, the sinking of the Titanic. On April 14, 1912, the world's largest passenger ship struck an iceberg and sank, claiming the lives of over 1,500 people. So let's dive into the history of the Titanic and the events that led to its fateful end. Background The Titanic was built by the White Star Line, a British shipping company and was launched on May 31, 1911. It was the largest ship of its time, measuring over 880 feet long and 175 feet tall, and had a capacity of over 2,200 passengers and crew members. The ship was designed to be luxurious, with grand dining rooms, a swimming pool, and even a squash court. The Voyage On April 10, 1912, the Titanic set sail on its maiden voyage from Southampton, England, bound for New York City. The ship made stops in Cherbourg, France, and Queenstown, Ireland, before setting out across the Atlantic. Despite warnings of icebergs in the area, the Titanic's crew maintained a steady course and speed. The Disaster On the night of April 14, 1912, lookout Frederick Fleet spotted an iceberg in the ship's path. Despite attempts to turn and avoid the iceberg, the Titanic struck it, causing severe damage to the ship's hull. As the ship began to fill with water, it became clear that there were not enough lifeboats for all of the passengers and crew members. Evacuation and Rescue The crew attempted to evacuate the ship in an orderly manner, but the situation quickly turned chaotic. Many of the lifeboats were launched only partially filled, and some were even launched without being properly secured to the ship. As the Titanic sank, nearby ships like the RMS Carpathia were able to rescue some of the survivors. Aftermath The sinking of the Titanic had a profound impact on the world. It led to significant changes in maritime safety regulations, including requirements for lifeboats and better communication equipment. The disaster also highlighted the social inequalities of the time, as many of the lower-class passengers were unable to access the lifeboats due to their position on the ship. While there have been several expeditions to the Titanic over the years, the focus of these expeditions has been on studying the ship and its wreckage, rather than attempting to prevent it from taking in water. In fact, it would be impossible to prevent the Titanic from taking in water at this point, as the ship is heavily damaged and has been exposed to the harsh underwater environment for over a century. Conclusion The sinking of the Titanic remains one of the most tragic events in history. It serves as a reminder of the importance of safety regulations and the need to prioritize the lives of those on board. We hope you found this video informative and we'll see you next time.